Casual Geographic, the most generational rivalries in the animal kingdom. Let me see if you've been paying attention. Who went in a 1v1, a gorilla or a jaguar? A gorilla, nigga. Why he and I don't, I don't think he said anything about gorillas and jaguars. He ain't never said that. That's why I laughed. A gorilla is snapping that shit. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Lions and hyenas. Who winning? Hyenas. Okay, they be okay. traveling in packs. I feel like their bite force is way more stronger than the lions. You okay. know what I'm saying? But that's just me though. Crows and owls. I think crows winning, bro. Crows, they, they come together too. They be, yeah. They be traveling in packs. And they, they're like one of the smartest animals too. And they will remember you too. Mm-hmm. Listen to me, bro. We are live on kick. Crows jump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pull up to the stream. There will also be a link to the original video down below. Yeah, Check true. that out. Hey! I'm on you! Oh, no! <laughs> Damn! Oh, he's yeah. banned this shit! What you wanna do? What you wanna do? You scared! I ain't never uh, been scared! You soft good boy! You know how much generational hatred Ooh. it takes to oh. rather have an oh, what's going on and crippled than just dead and out oh, the he's way? Crippled. It's easy for us to forget, but for most animals, you are a jump, oh, my. a gauntlet of grotesquerie, where if you Yo. die of old age, you're a spoiled minority, and with millions trying to survive at the same time, that can only lead to Damn. one thing. Beef. And whether due to competition, an underdog finally biting back, or just an animal choosing problems over peace, you're gonna see that some animals have a genuine grudge sequence into their DNA. But two things. <laughs> Why you wearing black Air Force? A remake of an older video, but as a rule of thumb, anything with iPhone 8 quality or Apple headphones for a mic should be disregarded. Facts. And two, while the facts and fades might be true, you're gonna hear me anthropomorphize animals a lot in this video and treat them Damn, like humans. Shut up. But at the end of the day, animals are just playing the cards they were dealt and doing what comes naturally to survive. That being said, hating each other with prejudice-laced passion is what comes naturally to these two. Lions and hyenas might have a beef more infamous and more oh, on sight than Tom. They said lions and hyenas because you watched the video already. Oh, I thought that's what you just came up with. No, no, I was going off by the comments. Oh, you mean chat. Okay. Oh, okay, well then this is interesting. It does depend on the number. Because yeah. if it's a one one v one, a lion I think a lion got it, yeah. right? But I feel like hyenas be they be in packs most of the time, don't they? Yeah. I don't know. So pack be pack. Who got it? Let's see. It's two. Sure. Lions and hyenas might have a beef more infamous and more on site than Tom and Jerry. It's one that involves spawn killing. Look at yeah. that! Some Kaizen level jumpings. Oh, look. jacking. On both sides, mind you. And the aforementioned handicapping. G -G. Lions and hyenas have generational beef that's been Aww. marinating for as long as they've been alive. It's all thanks to the power struggle between an that overgrown Afro kitty and a maligned mongoose on steroids. Yo! In some places, lions sit at the top, and in others, the Serengeti laugh tracks the dominant predator. Bro, they did as be jumping, yeah, bro. They brought JJK jumpings into the wild, bro. Yep. So this shit, this jumping shit, been going on for. For, for yep. eternity, man. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hell uh, yeah, hell uh, yeah. In some places, lions sit at the top, and in others, the Serengeti laugh tracks the dominant predator. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I don't have a bias, but there are no good guys or bad guys. Both are apex predators that start off life as pine-sized cubs just trying to survive the brutal RNG of life. Mm -hmm. Something I truly wish on none of you. Lord of the Beast ain't a game you wanna play, but maybe Beast Lord is. Beast Lord, the new land is an animal theme what strategy. The what the fuck Oh my god, god, I thought he even realized really really nice. nice. Yeah. He always do these seamless transitions, you feel me? Yeah. The new land, using the link in the description, and start writing your Beast Lord story today. But if you're a lion cub, there's about a coin flip chance your story ends before the first chapter, and the laugh happy Vice Trap has a lot to do with it. And obviously, Vice very much versa. But what if I told you this feliform family feud ain't even the worst beef lions have to deal with? Damn. You lose tough points when it takes 10 of you, you. to press one of them. Uh nah, but the real road blocks of this panther's pursuit of happiness? The animal so vindictive, folks nicknamed it Black Death and Widowmaker. Damn, hey, Buffalo, Widow, stand yeah. On I remember this. Lions and trees for hours, and they'll even hit an Uno reverse and hunt the hunter. Huh. With herds that can reach quadruple digits, they'll more than weaponize the power of friendship. Yep. Say what you will, I've never seen a hyena <laughs> make a lion look like that. Not to mention they'll play Dio! people around the lion. There's no way that's Dude, real. Dude, they're passing them around. There's no way that's real. And mobbing's exactly what you see here, and it's fueled by the beef between a rogue, stealth assassin build without the bulk or squad advantage of lions and hyenas, and a highly what? intelligent, highly social tank of a primate. Get your ass in line. Wounds are leopard lunch meat. United and the leopard gets folded like an omelet. Yep. You know it's an iconic beef when the kids are involved, and both leopards and baboons will kidnap the young of each other. Damn. Leopards, some say it's a chess play to bait the baby's bigger, meatier parents. Damn. While baboons have enough foresight to cancel a cub before it can grow up into a problem. Ooh. That's not the only theft they commit. Oh, baboons oh are underrated predators that'll turn a gazelle baby shower into a homicide in a happy meal. Which oh my means God. baboons aren't above pocket picking other predators. Which makes it wild hypocritical that the same malice monkeys will ruin leopard hunts with an alarm call to warn their prey. It takes a special level of hatred to bread block a predator on the hunt. It's like how we used to think humpback whales were the guardians of the sea for saving other animals from killer whales. Whole so time is an ancestrally traumatized cetacean going out of its way to interfere with orca hunts to make sure the zebras go home hungry. Hmm. 
frequency, the whale killers will often murk baby whales, and the humpback hood does not let that slide. Mm. And it's not just on sight. Any sense is an invitation. One time, a pair of spike-powered humpbacks sabotaged a group of orcas after a gray whale calf and proceeded to harass them for six hours straight. Damn! Seals, sunfish, and apparently even penguins have benefited from the beef. As the humpback motto states, no orca alive shall prosper. And that's on pod. So they're just like beefing gets for real? religiously in this beef. Just know when the lights go out, it's a different story. In fact, it's the busted night vision and being the best tree climbing cat that makes it a bane to baboon. Mm. So I'd say it's pretty even. And if you're wondering what happened to him, he's fine. And the very next day, he was seen trying a tree or porcupine. So Bruh. clearly his risk calculator's broken. But at least baboons have numbers on their side against an athletically disrespectful tree. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, imagine having problems with the biggest Yeah, cat. that boy was flying up them trees, boy. He jumped off of it, caught it in the air, and probably landed back on the tree. Yeah. Who does he think he is, bro? That boy ninja. Baboons have numbers on their side against an athletically disrespectful <laughs> oh my Imagine God. having problems with the biggest cat on the planet and having to run that fade solo. The tiger's the death stroke of the cat world. A walking census subtraction that'll take down gars, crocodiles, and tigers are on record eradicating elephants. They even dare really? go after bears, including the most homicidal one on the planet. The sloth bear's gotta be the most trigger happy of the bears, and it's all thanks to this thing I just made up called the predator prey paradox. The fuck? Basically, it means you're infinitely more fornicated in the fortune apartment if a moose presses you than if a bear, because with predators, you gotta convince them you're worth the effort, but an hmm. animal that already gets hunted will turn oh my into God. a wolf oh my God. take time to judge your intent. Real life Baloo often gets bodied by tigers and leopards. Also, most of their diet is insects, and the same claws that help them break into termite apartments means they can't just climb from the smoke like God some other bears. Damn! Which means what you got here wow. is a high strung insect eater with predator hardware. It's like a giant honey badger, and they're so unpredictable that folks actually fear them more than they do tigers. Oh, no, boy, that shit coming at you like that. That bro. shit what is you doing? Chop. He's a <laughs> What am I doing, nigga? Yo, I'm, I'm running. I'm out of there. Hell it's like a giant honey bear. Look at that. They're so unpredictable that folks actually fear them more than they do tigers. Not for no reason, because despite having a bigger... Oh, that's a good question. Would y'all rather be able to talk to animals or speak every language? Talk to animals. I think so, too. I'm talking to animals. Because okay. that that's something... Because speaking a language, you can learn. I mean, every language, obviously, like, you know, that... I'd say almost nearly impossible. Yeah. But talk to animals is already impossible. Yeah. So I feel like I would rather do that, and if I want to learn a language, I'll learn, you know, one or two. Whatever other language I want to learn, but like, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to animals. I'm yeah, talking everybody can say they can talk to animals. Hell yeah. Not for no reason, because despite having a bigger population and a wider range, brown bears actually murk half the people this floppy faced anxiety attack does. But you see the thing with tigers, bears can make up to 5% of their diet, and they usually target cubs or moms with cubs. The tiger trauma runs so deep that since tigers have been known to imitate sandbar deer while hunting them, look at these oh, bears got pad loved into panicking at the sound of real deer. So what you got here is a beef between a predator and prey that opts for fight over flight. Sloth bears will square up to a tiger head on, and the sheer balls of facing them can intimidate God. inexperienced tigers that don't know any better. The ones that do never yeah, catch them slipping at the termite mound, ambushing the sloth bear and going for its neck. Because once Ooh. the slothy has to grapple with a giant house cat, it's up for him. But even then, the equalizer of Asia better come correct, and sloth bears instinctively go for the face, and even in a losing effort, the bear Ooh. can cripple the tiger. Damn. Especially when it's a mother ready to die about her baby. Oh yeah. I was not kidding, put the aggressive Volka in the higher weight class, and lions would have the same problems. And like any great beef, both sides have a oh. Oh, level of respect and fear, where sloth bears usually avoid tigers, and tigers are generally wary of bears. Meanwhile, the next beef has one oh animal really praying they don't run into each other. 2020 had a lot of headlines, so many that you probably Pause? forgot the murder hornet subplot. I These have were Asian not. giant hornets. Love, I love. Damn, them shits is huge. Yo, I, yo, yo. Yo, hell no. Nah. A pretty much black smoked. air force energy in the form of a bug. Their sting is sharp enough to poke through gear beekeepers normally wear. Damn! Their finishing move literally involves decapitating their prey with their mandibles. In Japan, these homicide hornets knock off 30 to 50 people a year, and it's not just people getting put on shirts. You said you wanted to go to Japan, bro? I do. I'm still going to. I'm still going. Also severely bully bees, and unlike bees, they can sting multiple times, can deliver ten times the venom, are five times bigger, and are built like a tiny armored fighter jet. That's how murder hornets can obliterate entire beehives. So when the Asian hornets started popping up in the U.S., people were understandably shook, and it was believed only one bug could stand up to the aerial assaults. Huh. Praying mantis is straight up oppressive. Really? An ambush really? hunter that has lizards, frogs, fish, and even small really? birds. Really? A frog? Body. They have wings, but they rarely fly, because in a world of fight or flight, they've been made their choice. And in 2020, yeah. a video would go viral of a mantis murking a hornet, going for brain like a sapio. God. In the wild, it's a different story, and it's often hornets that get oh, caught packing shit. up praying mantises. They're arguably the only insect that can give 10% of the Furious Five problems. But as you can see, a mantis won't miss a chance to settle the score, but who has the upper hand in his rivalry? Unfortunately, it might not be who you want.
According to scientists, it's usually the mantis taking the L, so much that mantises are actually a well-documented source of food for the hornets. Huh. And while oh, the god-fearing kung roaches get their licks in when they can, pretty much everything has to go right for them to come out on top. But also, you peep out a Terminator termite ripped off its legs before eating it alive. Don't try and tell me this ain't personal. The sad truth is, this hornet was actually anesthetized before it got manhandled. They literally had to nerf the hornet to gift wrap a W for the mantis. Damn. A mantis might not be the answer against damn. a bunny, oh my but God. damn it if they don't give them a fight. Hell, so do bees. The sunny bees have been known to swarm an offending hornet and vibrate so hard, they literally cook the wasp alive. Damn. While the bees and mantises get their moments, this is the first beef to have human intervention. But it's not like the next beef, which was 100% caused by humans. The heaviest snake on the planet is the green anaconda. I'm and good the on second that. heaviest is currently slithering all over Florida. The oh, earliest part yeah. I can measure yeah, is yeah, yeah, up nah. to an over 200 pounds and kills anything from dogs to deer to birds what? to bobcats. Yeah, I can see that. Normally, you'd have to go to Southeast Asia to see them. Yeah, the damn! Yo, Yo, bro. Hell nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it right there, bro. Yo, 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 yo. I'm evacuating the state. I'm not going back to Florida ever again. <laughs> You're bugging. No, I'm definitely leaving my crib. Like, Hell yeah. Have to go to Southeast Asia to see them. But thanks oh, to Florida's nah. fashion free, along with illegal pet releases, Look! the same predator that puts the noose in nuisance is now a legitimate part of the population. Pick it up! They were first seen in the Everglades in 1979. Today, they're hundreds of thousands strong. What is he grabbing after my neck? To West. <laughs> Florida folded to Hurricane Andrew, which leveled a python breeding facility and allowed them all to escape. Damn. Today, it's believed that for every one python that gets sighted, there's hundreds, if not up to a thousand, that don't. And with 30,000 sightings from 2008 to 2010, safe to say Florida's officially finding out. The problem is, back in Burma, they have tigers and leopards to keep them in check, but here, there's only one animal that can hope to stop them. Alligators are a prehistoric assault weapon, and on the uh, rare, they no, can only the the black bears. And as predators without prejudice, they'll also feed on smaller snakes like the python. The problem is, once pythons get big enough, they'll eventually spin the block and cook gators. Ah. So now what you got is a sled. Yeah. Yo, bro, what uh, the yeah. hell is I going on it. here? I can see that. I'm just as huge. They be gawking this whole. I guess so. Or they buy half of it, save the rest for later. I'm fucking up. Chamber with teeth and a leather straight jacket in an arms race constantly trying to eat each other. And I'm still not doing the beef justice. When the Bane of Burma swallows an alligator, its body goes into overdrive. Yep. Its heart rate increases, organs like its heart, kidneys, and liver all get bigger. And its mm. metabolism hits another gear. Yep. Not only can a python digest a whole alligator in only a week. If Dr. Damn. Steven Sikor of the University of Alabama is right, it actually takes less energy for them to down a gator than other options like rats or pigeons. Ha! I bet you think. How, bro? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Okay, but my thing is, this, like, how does it decompose or de whatever the scales of the alligator? Because those are hard, like the skin and all that. Well, how does it just disappear in its body? Like, how does how, 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 snake work, bro? You got a different type of acid in his type of stomach, bro. That really is something you'll just decompose that mother. Not nah, saying, bro, they built for this. I know, but that's I, I just find that so fascinating. By yeah, it's cool. Wait till you hear what he pulls because pythons will actually read their victim's heart rate while squeezing them to death so they know when to stop. Huh. Problem is, alligators can slow their heart rate all the way down to two to three beats a that's minute. That's crazy. This wow. can end up calling it too soon and prematurely start swallowing the gator alive, only for it to struggle hard enough to bust through the snake like yeah. a messed up jack. Oh yes. my so god. Die, but nothing says beef more than if I'm going down, best you believe death taking me. this two for one. Hell that's yeah. how ugly competition can get. God and damn. this is the other side. Foxes and owls have no love loss, and it's for the classic reason of them pretty much having the same grocery list. Also, foxes will swipe owl chicks, and some owls, like the eagle owl, will murk them right back. Oh, but it's wow. the snowy owl and the arctic fox that run into each other the most, especially with the white air force building nests on the ground, and foxes being willing to steal from anyone. Mm. Most of the time, though, it's a lot of this, a lot of posturing, and a whole lot of hold me back. Whether it's an owl fox feud or a reptile dysfunction, most animal rivalries just start with them trying to put food on their plate. Hmm. What about a beef between animals working together? Octopus mm. will straight up deck fish in a okay, so get your ass out of here. It's a case of workplace assault. Octopus and fish like groupers often team up to hunt since the octopus can chase prey through coral crevices and if the prey yep. tries to do the race in open water, they get got by the grouper. We see two problems. One, a in grouper. a partnership, someone's bound to get shorted. And two, octopus are smart enough to hold grudges and just do stuff out of spite. Ew. An octopus named Truman decides he wasn't rocking with one of the researchers, so every time he'd see her, he'd give her the old siphon. Oh, oh shit! Wow. Wow. Eventually, she would go off to college and then come back months later to visit. And at that point, Truman hadn't been on disrespectful timing in a minute. Yeah, that streak ended the moment he saw her, as he super Duh. soaked her on sight. So octopus that feel like they're getting cheated in a partnership are much more likely to get punchy. 
Uh, sometimes they'll lash out just to keep the fish in line. And sometimes whoa. if an octopus got backdoored in the past, they'll just project it all over a new fish that didn't even do the anything. Fuck out of here. Since octopus can hunt with several fish at a time, they'll even get petty and ban the offender from the entire hunting party for the aquatic crime of embezzlement. Damn. That's why one of the worst things to beef with That's is cool. Look, look. That, that shit looks the same. That's, that's Damn, that's a big ass bird. It oh. is. Uh the test, man, what? Fire, fire. Yeah, thank you for the fire. Fire. Fee, fee, fee. Intelligence. Just ask coyotes, since ravens and coyotes often end up scavenging for the same scraps, especially when they belong to wolves. But of course, the generational instigator, the raven, will straight up snitch on coyotes trying to pinch off the wolf pack. And while Wally's running for his life, what does the raven do but fly directly over like a helicopter during a police chase? Imagine getting violated by a wolf pack, all because a goth mm. Tweety put a hit out. Yep. Last thing you want to do is make enemies with an animal smart enough to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Something a city in South Africa is learning the hard way, because mm. Cape Town's currently being overrun oh. by baboons. And like most things, it's our fault. Because no matter what you tell them, there's always going to be tourists feeding panhandling primates. Yep. The only issue is baboon society runs on bullying, where dominant monkeys will basically steal the lunch money of lower ranks. So not only do baboons not fear humans, but because people kept feeding them, a lot of them see all humans as low ranks and treat them oh, like it. And they've yeah. gotten OD disrespectful about it. Cape Town baboons have been known to break into houses to raid fridges. Wow. They'll mug small children, and you can nah. even get carjacked by a whole troop. Nah. Thanks to the Cape Nature Conservation Law, hey. Act, it's illegal to feed, trap, poison, or kill the monkeys. Meaning these habitual line steppers are above the law. You In 2011, bugging, nigga. a man went to court over shooting I'm a baboon. I'm running over them. Yo, I I'm them fighting, bro. But fighting, I ain't fighting, nigga. They gonna <laughs> fuck you up. I'm like, running over them, niggas. Right? You bugging? Yeah, nah. They. Uh. Yeah, I I generally don't know what to do in that situation. No, if it's the car thing. Like, I'm in the car, yeah, and they're surrounding me. I'm sorry, but I'm out. <laughs> that nigga's getting smoked. I'm yeah, sorry. but to like this, like in, let's say this situation, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm in my out. crib. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of there, bro. You could just take my house, bro. Then broke into his kitchen and started attacking him and his wife. Uh -uh. Well, the thug monkeys also stealing crops. Some people said f it and started fighting back. Oh, and not only do the monkeys end up getting hurt or murked, it only makes the baboons lash out even harder. That's oh, not shit. the dental of an animal. Planet of the Apes, boy, they finna go crazy. But at the end of the day, the baboons are just doing what comes naturally, and they wouldn't even have to be on timing if we didn't go and build a city. <laughs> <laughs> they got the a whole plate. Through your trash can and find more nutrition in 30 seconds Ooh. than it would in six hours of foraging. So we can't be mad at them for working smarter. Yeah. All we can do is what every other animal in this video already does, and just find a way to deal with it, yeah. even if it means a baboon takes your hood pass. But that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you drink water. What? No. Another. That's Let's the really monkey stop man. Trying these monkeys, man. I promise you won't like. That's a movie. Yeah. I'ma see y'all. In the oh, next monkey one. woman, I think. Ah, ah, that's cute. Is that a kangaroo? That's what I'm. Yeah, I think it is. Kangaroos are pretty cool too. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas is aki. Hell yeah. It will box your ass. What up. you say, boy? That's no shit for real. Mad so interesting, bro. Yeah. Cause that snake thing, but I'm gonna need an explanation on that, bro. Hey, bro. How does it go up? Oh, go up? Yeah, go up the whole alligator, pow. And then that process is faster than a rat or a rodent or whatever. Come on, talk buddy. to the goddamn scientists and all them niggas. Yeah, bro. Right. Yo, Cash, we need a snake video. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, man, if y'all like it, like it. If you can't like it, not like it. Oh, okay. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.